Ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of today's show, Azex Fire EN54. As you might guess, this system was developed in full compliance with EN54 standards and requirements, which are widely adopted across many markets around the world. As you know, most commercial facilities like industrial sites and public institutions won't even let you in without EN54 certified equipment. Well, now we are ready. But this isn't just EN54 compliance, it's EN54 done right, user-friendly, fully equipped including EN54 Part 21 for ARC connection and way more than just a fire panel. It's the world's first fully wireless control and indicator equipment that combines certified EN54 fire detection with EN5131 intrusion detection all in one system. And just to give you a sneak peek, yes, it's still Ajax, the same reliable technology and signature user experience you already know and trust. Alright, let's go over the core components of the Ajax Fire EN54. First up, the control panel. It is beautifully designed with a plastic enclosure available in two colors, black and white. Also, all communicators are built in Ethernet, Wi-Fi and GSM. And actually, this is a huge step forward compared to legacy fire systems where you had to insert the voice or Ethernet module separately. The panel features an easy-to-use mounting system, the smart bracket, which allows you to quickly and easily remove the panel and snap it back on. By the way, take a look at the smart bracket. It has all needed outputs, including Ethernet and power, plus bubble level, so you connect everything to the smart bracket and then just install the panel. The system runs on two backup batteries, one for 24 hours, the other for 72. So let's try it out. As you can see, the panel boots uh, almost instantly. Unlike our regular hubs, these batteries are replaceable, so you don't need to power down the system. And that's quite crucial for fire systems that operate 24-7, where even a minute of downtime just isn't an option. And yes, the battery pops out just as easily using the same key from the manual core point. Simple as that. So let's put it back. And we move on. Well, take a look at the touch screen. It is big and its indicators stay hidden when not in use. And this keeps the panel clean and calm because no lights are blinking for no reason. By the way, in the EN54 world, big screens are rare. That's why installers often shorten zone names just to fit them on tiny displays, which makes the names hard to read and kind of a pain to understand. Now guys, let's jump into a quick demo. I'm gonna add the panel to our space. As we discovered, the system is fully wireless and it is powered by our wireless technologies Jeweler and Wings. Jeweler is used for alarm transmission and Wings for photo verification. And just so you know, when it comes to the EN54, wireless systems are often met with hesitation. The reason is simple. There are almost no all-in-one wireless systems on the market, so no one gets it right. But Ajax proved we know our stuff. Our wireless tech powers millions of trusted installations around the world. And we've taken everything we've learned about wireless and built it right into our new fire detection system and made wireless EN54 even better and safer. So let's get this guy started. The panel as well as EN54 detectors are added to the space by scanning a QR code just like you would with any other Ajax device. I'm gonna add it using my installation company account. And we're gonna add this hub to an existing space. Imagine a site that already has Ajax installed and now you want to expand that stuff with a fire safety system. Alright, so let's remove our panel from bracket and scan its QR code. So, I'm navigating to the device stop and click add device. Let's also keep the suggested name and room and then just click Add Device. While it is adding, let me put it back. Right, so we just joined the existing space and there is already a camera in it. And actually that's uh, the beauty of Ajax, because you can have video, fire, intrusion and automation all in one space. This lets you connect different devices and control everything from one spot. We also uh, got the Ajax sim in this hub, so we can go ahead and activate it. So just a few tops in the application and our fire panel is up and running. 
Ajax SIM is a pre-installed SIM card that is ready to use right out of the box with no activation required. End users immediately benefit from reliable and unlimited cellular connectivity provided by Ajax partners. Ajax SIM automatically connects to the best available network, switching between carriers as needed for uninterrupted, reliable communication and alarm transmission. Now devices, they are added the same way by scanning a QR code. So let's add a smoke detector. So, I'm scanning its QR code. By the way, when adding the device, besides setting the name and room, you also need to assign it to a specific fire zone and set its location. A fire zone is a virtual group of one or more detectors that cover the same protected area like a sober room. If any detector in that zone goes into alarm, the entire zone is considered triggered and the system reacts accordingly, just like you'd expect in traditional wired setup. Now location. This isn't about zones, it is about the exact spot where the device is installed like lobby ceiling or server room rack area. It helps identify the detector on site, especially when multiple devices are in the same zone. So if something triggers, you'll know exactly where to go and what to check. So let's assign our smoke detector to fire zone, let it be fire zone number 2. And also let's specify some location. That's it. Um, Press an add device. Now let's put the smoke detector back on the bracket, but just before, let me also show you how you can easily access the battery section. So there is special cover over here. Currently, the product line includes four types of fire detectors, EN54 Fire Protect Smoke Jeweler, a smoke detector, EN54 Fire Protect Smoke Sounder Jeweler, a smoke detector combined with a fire alarm sounder, EN54 Fire Protect Heat Jeweler, a heat detector, and EN54 Fire Protect Heat Sounder Jeweler, a heat detector combined with a fire alarm sounder. All models are available in white and black. Right, so let's move on and now we're gonna add uh, other device. So, take a look at this device. This is a sounder with a built-in visual alarm device. So you get both audio and visual alerts in one unit. VADs are critical in environments where people might not hear the alarm, such as noisy factories, gyms, or for individuals with hearing loss. In fact, their use is often mandated by safety regulations to ensure alarms are noticed regardless of ambient noise or personal ability. What's great about it is that it's IP54 rated, protected against dust and splashes. That means that you can install it indoors in areas with light humidity like bathrooms or even in some outdoor spots that are sheltered from direct rain like terraces under a canopy. It also features a lock mechanism that prevents the device from being easily removed from the bracket, which is an important security detail for public spaces. So there is a plastic latch over here. And the battery cover is super convenient, letting you access and replace the batteries quickly without any hassle. So you just slightly turn it counterclockwise. Just like I did. Each visual alarm device can be mounted either on a wall or a ceiling. This removes installation constraints and gives engineers the flexibility to achieve optimal visual coverage with fewer devices. EN54 line includes the following fire alarm devices. N54 Fire Protect Sounder Jeweler for sound indication only. N54 Fire Protect VAD Jeweler for visual indication only. And N54 Fire Protect Sounder VAD Jeweler for combined sound and visual indication. The maximum sound volume is up to 85 decibels. In addition, you can choose from 32 sound patterns that comply with all recognized fire safety standards. The devices are available in three colors, black, white, and red. All right, so let's enroll it. We scan the QR code, click Add Device, then the power button on the device itself, and that's it. All right, now I'm gonna uh, put this device on its bracket. All right, let's add the manual call point to our roster. The manual call point is also one of the key components of any fire safety system. If you use Edux, you already know this product well. This version looks and works the same as before, but now it's certified to EN5425 for radio systems, so distributors will need to restock it to stay compliant. Every manual call point also comes with a protective cover out of the box. This is important as some regulations like the United Kingdom's BS5839 Part 1 require one to prevent unwanted activations. Okay, so let's add the manual call point to our space. 
And the procedure is the same. I just need to uh, scan the QR code and hold the power button for a few seconds. That's it. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, put it back on the bracket. That's it. Now to show you how intrusion and fire systems can work together, I'm gonna add a motion detector with a camera. Let me scan its QR code. Give it a name. All right, and I'm also gonna place it on the wall. Just like this. Motion cam can be used to verify fire alarms. So when a fire detector is triggered or when the medical point is activated, motion cam takes a few shots and sends them to users on the monitoring station. You don't see this feature too often and it really helps with verifying fire alarms, which means fewer false alarms and wasted trips for firefighters. Basically, photo verification has quickly gone from a nice bonus to a must-have. The majority of security professionals no longer imagine their operation without it. It's become a standard for those who want to act fast, avoid costly dispatches, and stay in control even when they're offside. To set up that kind of scenario, go to the device settings, Scenarios, click Create Scenario, By Alarm, let's select the Melacom point for our demo, let's give it a name. And that's it. To wrap up our PSC setup, we need to add an end user, someone who will be interacting with the system on site. In our case, there could be a fire officer, so let's go ahead and add one. And go to the space settings, users, send invites. And as you can see, I've just made this user an admin because admins automatically get the privacy manager role. We'll need that to access the camera since only the privacy manager can grant those permissions. And you know how it is with edX, we take privacy seriously. With the privacy management feature, you have full control over who can take and view photos captured by motion cam detectors when they are allowed to do it, always, only when the system is armed or after an alarm, and who can access camera streams and playback, whether temporarily or permanently. All related settings are easy to manage in one place. This kind of user control is rare in the industry and it's what sets Edix apart. Now let's switch to the end user app and create a user code for our fire officer. This step is essential, interacting with the fire panel always requires logging in first. Keep in mind that you can also use a tag or pass for this. So let me then launch the user application. So I go to the users, passcode settings and let me assign a user code. Job is done. Let me also get back to the privacy settings. Here I need to uh, double check uh, whether the uh, photos by scenarios uh, are allowed. And I'm also gonna uh, let our motion cam detector to trigger at all times, not only when the system is in desire mode. And now I'm also gonna uh, grant our installation company access to the, um, to the camera stream and playback. That's it, we now can get back to the uh, application for pros. And now it's time to simulate the fire alarm. You can learn more about privacy and configuring access to sensitive data in the relevant Ajax Academy courses, such as baseline intrusion or video surveillance. Please note that only our partners have access to Ajax Academy. Now let's simulate a fire alarm and see how photo and video verification works in action. We're gonna use the Melacom point for this. And you guys pay attention on how fast system will notify you about the alarm. So let me press the Melacom point and see what happens. So, as you can see, when there is a fire alarm, the panel's buzzer goes off along with the sound and visual from our visual alarm device. And also on the touch screen, you can always see which exact zone was triggered. 
Now, heading back to the application in the notifications tab, we can verify fire alarm by viewing shots taken by our motion cam detector. Also, when you long press the alarm notification, you can uh, get access to the camera playback and live stream, which also allows you to assess the situation on site. Lastly, if there is a malfunction like a low battery or someone removing a device from its bracket, the panel alerts you in a split second. And you can always uh, browse the event log right on the touch screen. Works like a charm. Finally, if you are routing fire-resistant cables from outside, there is an optional glam box accessory for that. It makes connecting external cables neat and compliant because cable enters are only considered fire-sealed when proper cable glands are used. So we've got you covered, but only if you actually need it. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's demo of the Edgex Fire EN54 system. Of course, we didn't cover everything, some features are still in development, and depending on when you are watching this, they might already be available, so keep an eye out for updates. One more important note, monitoring. In traditional fire systems, if the installer isn't on site, they often have no idea what is going on between visits. You are basically in the dark until the client calls. With Edgex we solved that. The app gives you remote visibility into the panel status at any time, even if you are miles away. Fire, intrusion, video, automation, all in one ecosystem, fully wireless and ready for real-world installations. And with EN54 certification, we confidently stepped into a niche where the serious players operate, the kind of space usually reserved for big established industry names. But we didn't just show up, we brought the Edix experience with us. Same user-friendly design, same rock-solid reliability, and now with EN54 on board. Thanks for watching and stay safe.